Welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie episode four. Let's start things up by hitting the switch. All right. Don't know why, don't know why we needed to, but you know, there, there it is. Oh, okay. So this episode is going to be dedicated to Clanker's Cavern. Mmm, Clanker. This is both a sewer level and an underwater level. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Just put them both together so we don't have to worry about it later. This, this level seems bad at first, but it's it's not too... not too bad. Um, it was probably worse in the N64 version because you could die very easily in it. And when you die, you lose all your notes and all that, mm. and all your Jinjos. Yeah. But we're gonna be getting gold feathers in this episode. Oh. Invincibility is the new move we'll be learning. But we gotta go what? find balls of molehill somewhere. That's cool. Forgot about that. Invincibility, also known as the move that broke them in Smash Brothers. <laughs> That's what makes them fun, is what you meant to say, right? Sure, yes. <laughs> There's our first ginger behind this bee house. I think we got everything here. Small area. All right, show me the now big boy. We go, go to the main body here. Show me the clanker. Now we get to our first uh, real harrowing moment. Uh, this is clanker here. This is Gruntilda's garbage disposal. But uh, he is kind of trapped in this dirty, filthy, stinking poo water. Oh. Do you see that chain below him there? Yeah. We gotta swim all the way to the bottom and help him out. God, look how intimidating he is. Ah, uh, he's harmless. Oh, his eyes follow you too. So take a deep breath. Okay. Get a look around here, kind of get a feel of the place, and down we go. Okay. Oh, look, he's all, like, scarred and everything. Ah! The music here really makes this, you know, kind of unnerving. It goes from this harp, then it goes to this really low baritone sax and creepy strings. Oh, my. Oh, air. 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 I uh, can't get that. This is Gloop. He'll <laughs> really help us out here. Oh, good. Thanks, Gloop. We got the green Jinjo. Some notes around here. So I know that uh, if you hold the R button, it'll help you, quote unquote, swim better. I wish she would have told me that sooner! <laughs> I'm finding that uh, a lot of our older games, they don't really tell you the advanced tactics. But then again, this is the Xbox version, which has, I, I assume, slightly better controls. Yeah, slightly better, but it's oh, still a game that it. was made in 1998. Get it! Oh, God. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, got it. Oh, that's not much air. I need more air. <laughs> so you gotta swim through this keyhole three times. We're not like give me one, give me one more bubble, buddy. Come on. We're not like grabbing it or anything. We're just swimming through it. Just swim through it, and apparently the water pressure from Kazooie's wingspan is enough to turn it all the way. There's two. Doesn't even matter which direction. Is Kazooie like an elder god? Like, what am I missing here? <sighs> that would be hilarious if she was. Oh, we freed oh, Clanker! Okay, cool. And now he can breathe, and now the letter ha the the level has opened up properly. Wow. You find reward on Clanker's back. Now, unfortunately, Clanker has gills, which means he's currently suffocating. So, eh, sorry about your luck, Clanker. 
I, I think he. I think they gave him gills, but he also has lungs. Ah! It's just a uh, abomination. <laughs> Gruntilda, what did you do? God, can you... I wanted to make a creature with a metal bod, so I decided to combine creatures and play God. Uh, it's all scary. J can you imagine like an HD remaster and seeing a like gutted clanker? They'll probably just make him mostly metal. I mean, I can't even tell if that's blood or muscle or tissue, whatever. It looks like just he's leaking strawberry jam. Well, yeah. That's uh, one of the advantages of playing Live and Reloaded versus the original Bad Fur Day is blood actually looks like blood. Shit. So wait, how did you open that? You just do a, like a rat-a-tat rap. Oh, okay. You don't need, don't need a switch or anything, just attack it, then it opens. Could, couldn't we do that for, like, all the other doors? It's like, hey, open up. All right, we got enough Mumbo tokens for the next transformation. Sweet. Still looking good there. I'm just kind of making my way around the top part here. That's about how I do it. Just survey the area, make your plan of attack. Just kind of take it one step at a time. So we'll start by going over here. Oh, you can climb these. Oh. Yes. We go down here. There's the orange Jinjo. Let me slide down here and I miss uh, all those notes and I even missed the thing there. Uh, ah, beautiful. No! Expert gameplay. Go me. 100 points to me. Hey, did you forget your fingerless gamer gloves today? Come on, man. Oh, no, I got the fingered gamer gloves. Damn that it. That was my mistake. <sighs> We're never going to make it to Evo like this. Come on. <laughs> if I ever made it to Evo, I'd just troll the whole place. <laughs> I know you would. Always select the joke characters. Destroy all the Japanese players. Bring in my Bluetooth Atari 2600 controller. <laughs> oh, UDJ and the Niskel go to Evo. <laughs> the adventures we would have, oh friend, oh mine. Who's ready for some serious cooking, Mama? <laughs> now, uh, th there is one joke that Aaron Hansen has done in the past that always made me laugh. Is effortlessly playing through a game, uh, such as, you know, the original Super Mario Brothers, basically goofing off but getting all the way to, like, the end of the game without stopping running. Like, just... Just being a jerk about it. Just being like, oh, this game's so easy, and just running through all these easy things. <laughs> Dude, so easy. And then dying and going, this game sucks! <laughs> I, I would love to do that, like, in the expert fighting arena. Just completely take all these people down, and then when I lose one game, just go, oh, this game sucks! For losers. You see, that's the thing, though. The, the fighting game community can be so toxic, that's probably not even exaggeration that somebody does well, that. Well, all right. Y you got me there. But what if yeah, it was... They, they they lose or whatever, and yeah, it's right. not the fault of their skill or the other player being better than them. It's, oh, it's the controller, mm. or they nah, cheated, or you know, if he, he used an illegal move, or something like that. They get really salty, and it gets embarrassing to watch sometimes. Well, see, if the Nisko and <laughs> UDJ go to Evo, and we bring Cooking Mama, Cookstar, clearly, <laughs> that will not be the controller's fault. It'll just be because the game sucks. I was gonna be troll Evo. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, well, we already got you know bringing games that aren't aren't true multiplayer games, guys. Let's see. Uh, place. <laughs> just 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 go around to everyone who's uh, having a really tough uh, uh, match at the moment, and we just kind of go behind them and say, you know, this game is for losers, right? <laughs> Play Smash Ultimate. You know, just play Smash Ultimate. Don't even touch Melee. It's a good way to troll some Evo players. You know, the series hasn't been good since Brawl. <laughs> oh, really piss them off. <laughs> Brawl was the apex of Smash Brothers playing. 
Why do you even need these other Street Fighters when the first one's good enough? <laughs> Byleth's a great character, and then they just explode. Well, that just piss off melee fans, which or Smash fans, which is really easy to do. Oh, it's so easy. It's like just anything happens, good or bad, and they'll take it as an automatically negative experience. Indeed. That's why it's so much fun. So on this right, on this uh, right tooth of Clankers, oh. there's a Jiggy, and on the other side, on the other tooth, is a Jinjo. Oh. Don't think I can get it. Oh, though, just, oh, here uh, it is. Uh, here well. it is. Ew. Oh well. What? Yeah, getting inside Clanker. He's actually. It's very spacious inside him, actually. Oh, he's got he got a big mouth for chomping that garbage. You know, what else could this be besides blood? I mean, we got the tendrils here, and maybe this are, those are just parasites from all the garbage he's been munching. I already said strawberry jam. Not strawberry jam. Bubble gum. Oh, so uh, that would explain a lot. Grunty seems to like her sweets. Could be unrelated ground beef. All right, so we got 45 seconds to go through all these hoops. Seems easy enough, honestly. Seems easy enough, but we got a couple of tricky ones here, like oh. this one. Bad. So, Come on. A little slippery oh. in here. There. Yeah. <laughs> Clanker, did you eat my obstacle course? Yeah, sorry. Where are my lifesavers? <laughs> <laughs> See, we're getting back yeah, to this, the candy. This is when you do it, jumping it. Oh fuck! Ah! Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Uh, back up there! Okay, okay. Back up Shit. there! Uh, okay. One more! We got ten uh, seconds ten. to get that one. Nine, eight, seven. Go! 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 go. Before you get whipped. Hurry! Yeah! Oh. Phew. That's close. This is a really weird Banjo Kazooie randomizer. I know, right? And that is number five. Halfway done already. Dang. Stop making my Donkey Kong 64 playthrough seem long by comparison. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not my fault. It's Rare's fault <laughs> for making Donkey Kong 64 so goddamn long and confusing. Oh, definitely. Pink Jinjo's down here. got all the Jinjos, too. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back into him a little bit later. I want to enter in through another... another way first. Oh! Oh! That's clever, actually. You can go in through his gills, you can go in through his teeth, you can go in through his blowhole. That sounded dirty, I'm sorry. Hmm. Are there any brains up here? No, just more metal. Back here is... Duh, whoops. That's the entrance, my bad. See, this is why we need to go troll Evo. <laughs> just block and jump when you play <laughs> fighting games the whole time. I was just thinking... <laughs> it's like, come on, bro. And just spam. What you, what you doing, bro? Come on. Just spam. The entire time. <laughs> That's, that's all you gotta do. You know, pick Fox, do nothing but shoot the laser. We got it. We, we did it, boys. We have thoroughly trolled Evo. I'll have some marks in the audience. They'll have their own uh, console that's hooked up to the PS... or their own controller that's hooked <laughs> up to the PS4. So whenever there's an intense moment, one of them will hit the home button. Oh. And then... <laughs> Wait, what's happening? No! Ah! <laughs> There's last Jinjo. All right. All oh, right. I gotta get the. Oh puzzle yeah, you piece gotta get the puzzle it. piece. Yeah. Actually, kind of need that. The, the ultimate troll at Evo would be starting up a fighting match and then accidentally pressing start all the time. <laughs> I have one of those turbo controllers and one. There's like a slow <laughs> function, which is hits pause all the time. Just hit that. It's like, oh, gee, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we got an amazing match going on here, and up oh, he kicked the console again. <sighs> okay. You 
You know, maybe we could get that scenario off the ground. It's like the gamer version of Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. DJ and the Disco go to Evo. Now, the best part is the conclusion of the movie is just us sitting down and playing a fighting game we like. At home. <laughs> Don't even go to. I'll second thought. Let's not go to Evo. <laughs> yeah, it's a it is a silly, silly place. place. <laughs> All this set up just for us to go. Eh, you know, fuck it. <laughs> We're not going to Evo. <laughs> Pretty obvious. You need to kill these mutant crabs. You know, if we actually did go to Evo, that means we'd have to come up with like epic gamer humor. And, you know, not have moments like specific gamers do, but... Yeah, I've learned epic gamer humor mm -hmm. isn't really all that funny. Yeah. It'd be like, <laughs> that, that's like if a guy was playing, you know, uh, DBZ and he picked Broly. Ha <laughs> ha, it's funny. D had to, it, it, it is. Mm, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's like going through a 20-hit combo in DBZF and actually mid-canceling. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I remember when that happened. So we make fun of Evo because I'm no good at the games that are at Evo. Oh lord, so. no. Yeah, yeah. It was, if if you put me in the ring with one of those players, I would just put the controller down and say, "You win. Enjoy." Like I knew I wasn't cut out for 2D fighting games, especially because I, I played the first Blaze Blue for a while when it came out. I was I was pretty hardcore into that. And I got, I got pretty good at it. I got, I mean, I'm not like, you know, master level quality, but I, I got really good at the game. And then I, you know, played some other things, and then I, I came back up to it after like a week or two, and my skills just plummeted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I'm saying that that's, that's why I can't play 2D fighting games, because that means I will have to dedicate to that and nothing else. Yeah. And that was close, I almost died. I actually played Blaze Blue with like an actual good character, or sorry, a actual good player that I used to work with. And there was one point where I just put the controller down and I was like, you know, you win. I I literally <laughs> cannot attack because you are that good at this game. The equivalent of knocking over your king in chess. Yeah, it's just I I, I yield. There is a way to jump from tooth to tooth, but... There we go. It's a Bumbo token, not a Jinjo. What am I talking about? You're just caught in the gamer frame of mind, man. Still a couple of things that we need to do inside a clanker. Old clanky. Old McClanky. Nope, wrong button. That's the there game. we go. What are these tendrils? Obviously, that's for stirring up the chewed garbage. Uh, but they seem otherworldly. Oh my god! So here's where we learn invincibility. So, remember in Donkey Kong 64, you talked about missed inputs? <laughs> so, in the Xbox Live Arcade version, you press... Yeah, you press uh, both of the triggers, I think. Mm -hmm. Or no, you, you press one of the triggers and then right on the control stick. Whoa, that's weird. So it's still very much like it was in the 64 version, which is... Hold uh, Z, I think, and then hit right on the C stick. Hmm. But to do the talent trot, it's uh, hit the hit Z and then left on the C or the the C left oh, button. Oh God! Okay. So you're gonna see me try to do a talent trot a few times, but accidentally go into invincibility mode because I still have that mindset. Hey, it's okay. It happens to all of us. All right. What's really funny is I saw a TAS of this, and they went through this without going invincible. Oh, of course they... Of course they did. 
All right, I gotta say, this right here gave me really terrible bad fur day flashbacks. There is one <laughs> part in that game where if you're trying to go for a no death run, that's pretty much where your run ends. It is a swimming segment with rotating fans. No death, huh? Well, I'll fix that for sure. One hit kills. And because the camera is so wacky, you can't tell how close you are to the fan until it just cuts you in half. Don't forget these notes. Oh, oh, oh. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Hi. Oh. So we've still got one more jiggy, eight more notes, and two empty honeycomb pieces left to get. Wait, didn't we already get a honeycomb piece? Sorry, one, one left to get. Okay. You are right, and I am wrong. There's a first time for everything, my friend. But I don't get these often, so I'm gonna ride it all the way to the bank. Hell yeah! <laughs> Nisky boy wins again! Oh, I remember this part. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I kind of like these this platforming segments. It really tricks you, really uh, tests you yeah. up. Yeah. Alright, six left. All right, this is a good time to switch to the N64 version, die, just so we can give an example of how bullshit it is. Especially this one uh, honeycomb over here. See that pipe right there? Yeah. Well, we'll get there later. I'm, I'm looking at it. I think we're gonna hit, I think, think we're heading to the blowhole next. Okay. And that's where the witch switch is. Witch switch? Witch switch. You know, I was taking notes, I couldn't write which switch. I kept writing as with switch. <laughs> hey, here we go. That's everything we need. D oh, her eyes are bulging. Louie, is that you? And there's a hundred. Oh God, do you have enough feathers to get back? You don't need to. Oh, and you, we're, we're done. Oh crap. Done. He's gotta get that. They, they, we gotta get that last honeycomb, and I think that's it. Uh, Dropping us off I'll back be here. dang, friend! You done did it. I'm never 100% at this level. Really? Yeah. Well, we have a retribution run then. <laughs> you did it. And I thought that it was this level that made me iffy about 100% run, but no, I was wrong. It's the next level. There's one particular jiggy that I never ever beat. Hmm. As a child. Well, you are now big strong man, and you have you have figured out the ways of the gamer world. I'm, I'm more than twice that age, almost three times the age I was when I <laughs> when I when I beat it last. <laughs> Much knowledge, big and strong, able to defeat baby game. Will you get the honeycomb <laughs> banjo? Thank you. There we go. Just read your hand out. Nice. So now we have an extra health piece, and uh, think, I think we're all good. We're sitting pretty. Got everything we need. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, I don't think I ever asked. When you run out of air, is that instant death? That is instant death. That is no health ticks down. Oh. That is you drown. Oh. Good to know. So don't, don't think that you've got two air, uh, two air supplies there. Nah, uh, it is one and done. Now, can you get more air supply? No. That air is all you have, all you'll get. Goody. It's kind of tricky getting back, because it's in this pipe here, so you gotta go over here, up and over. Hope to God you make it, and hey, go. we did it. That actually, that All wasn't right. that bad. Still got, yeah, we got a few things left to do though. We can hit this, which raises this ah. switch. 
But I do believe that is timed. Generously timed, though. Up here. Got a couple Are these things. eels? <laughs> that thing? So, uh, sort of. We got Brentilda here. All right, tell us some disgusting secrets. Grunty wears a flea circus under that repulsive dress. Yeah, uh, itchy. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. <laughs> and my sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful. Oh. Well, they'll become niche in a well, few years. No worries. Well, g given my taste in music, I'll probably think they're oh, genius. Yes. <laughs> Big Naka is a good one. Because I could always go for, you know, the joke in the back, you know. Hey, Big Naka more like Big Snacka, am I right? It's it's a dog. I'm sorry. My Naka's bigger. That's a Big Naka. So this is... Oh. I, 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 I think we have enough. Pretty uh, sure. I think we might, yeah. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Level four, Bubble Gloop Swamp. Oh, I remember this level. Oh no. You just let me know when you stop remembering. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't remember much, so. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> next time on Banjo Kazooie, Bubble Gloop Swamp. See you next time. Later, gamers. See you. See you at Evo <laughs> 2022. Let's go.